I adventure that's beyond compare. Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm in hell. And my punishment is to spend eternity on my own show. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek, always joined by Mikey the Freak. Delirious. What's and up? Steve-O. Steve-O. That's me typing. Oh, you're typewriting. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are you doing? All right, guys, if you haven't figured if out. You haven't we, guess what we're watching. We are watching the movie Delirious. Uh, but before we get into it, we need to check out that trailer. Yes, let's. Let's see how much they give us away of the whole fucking thing. Probably, Probably the whole, the whole thing. Yeah. It ends, the, the trailer ends with him going, that's right, I hit my chin and I, I passed it. Jack Gable may appear to be successful, but he still has his problems. I can't hear it. Here, let me help you up here. Especially with women. She is such Jack, a when are you going to stop kidding yeah. yourself about Laura? There's nothing going on between me and Laura. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> but do you? Till one day, the writer of the sappiest soap on TV. These He's operating on people. Plants are almost He's routine. an actor. Good scene. <laughs> Not a good really great scene. <laughs> Had a slight accident. <laughs> and woke up to find himself living in his own show. You're in Ashford Falls Community Hospital. <laughs> there is no Ashford Falls. <laughs> See for yourself. Oh, no! All I want to do is get out of this Why does that set look pass? familiar? You say you're all right, and then that's... Then that's oh, no, it's definitely not out. Back to the Future. No. What's the rush? It just looks familiar. Where am I running? Yeah. <laughs> now, small photo of town. For me. With the help of his typewriter. He can make like, himself into the, the man he always the wanted to be. I love this. <laughs> I always love that with John Candy. Things just yeah. Going yeah. Like he always, every movie. <laughs> every movie he has that grin. And all he wants. Is to write his way home. That drunk? Oh God, I couldn't have been that drunk. Why else did I write last night? <laughs> but getting there <laughs> that was hilarious. The minimum yeah. of typos. The bartender needs more cold deer. Not deer. Beer. John Candy. Beer. This may sound crazy, Typo. but I created this whole town. <laughs> Marielle Hemingway. <laughs> Every. Emma Sands. Yeah, strange strange movie, she's supposed to be a club. Raymond DeBerg. What the hell is going on around here? Freaking delirious. Very amazing. Love and my Mason. punishment is spending eternity on my own show. And there you have it. That sounds familiar. It does. That, uh, that last one. That, that, that trailer is horrible because they, they automatically give away. <clears throat> When he got into an accident, no, you show you show him fucking going off the fucking cliff with, with his goddamn car. Yeah, well, well, that's why it's not in the trailer. It's going to be a surprise, even though they gave away everything else. Uh, Mikey the <laughs> Free, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this movie? Uh, yeah, there's not much. Um, soap opera writer uh, gets, I say, gets hit on the head and wakes up as a character in his own show. Um, you know, it's funny because he finally, it's ironic because he, you know, he thinks that everybody's still an actor. And then when he finds out he's in Ashford Falls, um, and realizes that he can start writing his own, I guess, destiny or write his own day or whatever he wants to do, he starts to have fun with it. You know, drive the mm -hmm. Ferrari, make himself a spy, which is, he's supposed to be Jack Gates. Uh, and then it ends up, he writes, ends up writing in, um, uh, oh, uh, Robert, Robert Wagner, yeah. Robert, Robert Wagner. Wagner? Yeah. You're Tony not Denoso. a TV star. It's the you Fetterman. And he always blames the Fetter, always blames Arnie Fetterman, which is it's other Fetterman. Writer. They're bringing the other Fetterman writer. in. Yeah. So <laughs> which, which they were, they were bringing in Fetterman. They were bringing yep. in Fetterman. And then, yeah, and it's funny. He finally realizes Fetterman is part of it, and he punches him in the face. Spoilers. 
Uh, but yeah, it's a <laughs> spoilers from a movie from the nineties. Spoilers. Uh, yeah, I mean it. It's a fun movie. I mean, I love John Candy. You know, uh, you know, it sucks that he passed away so soon, but um, there was so much out there that he would have been amazing, uh, even up to today. You know, there's so much stuff out there. He would have been a great actor, and he was in his own right before he passed away. But um, funny movie, uh, cute, uh, interesting. Uh, type movie um definitely recommend it uh if you like comedy or even if you like john candy um definitely worth the watch i mean you probably don't have to watch it tons of times um but john candy has so many movies out there that uh, it's definitely worth more than once you know what i mean uh, mm -hmm. yeah this was actually my first time seeing this movie and i'm i can't believe i haven't seen this movie because i'm a huge john candy fan we watched Armed and Dangerous a lot. This is true. This and is it, true. it was about around the same time frame. And I, I really enjoyed this movie. I had fun with it. This was a, a funny movie. One of my favorite running gags was the brother getting sicker and sicker from throughout the, the entire the movie. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Um, and Perry Mason playing j just total straight guy throughout when everybody else is weird. It, it, it's it, it's fun. So uh, I, I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, Steve, what about you? Uh, so when this movie came out... That's a clown horn. What the hell? <laughs> Were you hearing something? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like a clown horn or something. I'm fucking around with shit. Oh, no fucking clown horn here. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I remember when this movie came out in the... Uh, <laughs> That's too close to forgetting. Uh, I remember when this movie came out in uh, in the nineties because uh, my mom worked at a video store, so I remember seeing all the boxes and I remember looking at them daily. Uh, I remember this movie kind of being on cable TV, if not public access, uh, but I never really watched it through. So this was my first time fully watching it through. Uh, and if this movie did anything, it made me just appreciate Charles Rocket even more as an actor. Uh, I, he really flew under my radar a lot when I was just growing up, uh, and just finding more of what he did, uh, just, uh, of what a great actor he was. Uh, but this was a fun watch. Yeah. yeah, it really was. Uh, Mikey the Freak, what would you actually rate this movie? Um, you know, like comparing the, you know, with, I guess comparing with John Candy's other movies, um, not one of my top ones, um, uh, but definitely a solid seven for comedic. Um, great bunch of characters. Uh, you know, Dylan Baker, we talked about, you know, Perry Mason, of course, Raymond Burr, uh, Charles Rocket, great, great cast, uh, out of the nineties, but, uh, yeah, solid seven for me and, uh, a great John Kerry watch, uh, John, John, John Kerry, Kerry. John Andy Watts, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm right there with you. Seven's probably right where it was funny. It kept me entertained and it's just John Candy. I, I love me some John Candy. Uh, Steve, what about you? Chick, 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 seven. Chick, 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 seven. Chick, 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 chick. Oh, it's a seven. I was going to give it a six. But we'll just make it, we'll just make it a jackpot. Jackpot. I like that would have been the best chick, chick, chick. Six. I'm not there. It's seven. Cherries. It's, you lose. Um, no, it's a seven. It's a, it's a solid, uh, fun, enjoyable flick. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'll really go out of my way to rewatch it again, but it was, I, it was fun. I would suggest it, especially if you like the works of John Candy, to definitely check this movie out for sure. Yeah. All definitely. right. Yes, let's. Now for some fun or interesting facts. The Ferrari was a replica 250 GTO made from a Datsun 240Z by the same company that made the replica Ferraris for the Miami Vice TV series. So not a real Ferrari. Nope, 240Z. Well, it looked like a Ferrari. <laughs> Make that bitch red. Uh, the, the film reunites three actors from planes, trains, and automobiles. John Candy, Dylan Baker, and Susan Isaac. In both films, Isaac plays a character named Marie. Oh, and uh, the scene where Jack 
and Rachel are getting ready to head to Vermont was filmed at the Worldwide Plaza on West 49th Street in New York. So there are your fun-ish and interesting-ish facts. Uh, John Steve, Candy. What, John Candy. What do we have for some soundtrack? <clears throat> well, for the soundtrack, we have Beyond Our Wildest Dreams, performed by John Melnick. We have Sweet Lorraine, uh, not performed by anyone, just written uh, by people. <laughs> Toy Parade slash Leave It to Beaver theme. Uh, <laughs> Hungarian Rhapsody, number two, in C sharp minor. Uh, it's a man's 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 world performed by James Brown. And of course, uh, the cue of the, the title of the film, Delirious, performed by Prince. Hmm. Uh, Fun. All right, Mikey the Freak, round us all up with some uh, related reels. Let's do it. John Candy, Spaceballs, Barf. Not uh, here. This is a Rolls Royce. Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> Cool Runnings. <laughs> I was put on the spot. You knew he was going to get corrected. I was put on the spot. You were. You were. Senka, you dead? No, man. Uh, planes, trains, and automobiles, which we actually mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, great Outdoors, Uncle Buck. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Rookie of the Year. Love it. Armed and um, Dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. Armed and Dangerous. Brewster's uh, Millions. Mary. <laughs> Very I forget about. I love that movie. Nothing but trouble. <laughs> She's two, two characters. Meryl Hemingway, uh, Sex Monster. I've actually seen it. It's not as good as they think. Say this. Uh, <laughs> Manhattan uh, and Superman Four: The Quest for Peace. Oh, that's why it's called that. Yeah, uh, and then uh, Dylan uh, Dylan Baker. We talk about hunters. A show on uh, HBO, which actually was very, very good. Hell yeah. Uh, Anchorman 2. Uh, of course, Plane Train and Automobiles, as we mentioned. And Trick or Treat. Love them in Trick or Treat. Very cool. Is that it for Related Real, sir? Yes, sir. That's it. All right. Well, make sure you do all the YouTuber things. If you like what you see here, give us a good old thumb and hit that like and subscribe uh, make sure you check out the Mod Squad Network, which is the sister channel to Back to the Retro Review, where we have a bunch of shows over there, and we go live every Saturday night with a giveaway. All right, that does it for this episode of Back to the Retro Review. So for Mikey the Freak and Steve, I am the Bearded Geek saying, if we don't see you again, thank you for being a friend. Don't be delirious. See ya.